But when I really got to know about Islam is in year 2009. So at that time, I was like, uh, you know, maybe a lot of people talking about, uh, you know, people, what social media said about Islam. Yeah, terrorists and all that. So I was like, okay, maybe Islam is like that. Assalamualaikum. In this episode of Muslim River Diary, we are going to meet one lady who became Muslim only after a week learning about Islam. Let's meet her. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is No Amira Anli binti Abdullah, and I am born and raised in Seremban. So, uh, what is your background? I study in Chinese school, and uh, even the secondary, I study here uh, in a Chinese school as well. So after that, uh, I was working with Mas for seven years. Malaysia Airlines. Malaysia Airlines yeah, for seven years, and uh, currently, actually, I'm uh, teaching in a college. Aviation College, oh, okay. yeah, and so along teach, the way I teach Mandarin as well. Lao Shi, Lao Shi, Ni Hao. When did you first encounter about Islam? Uh, living in Malaysia, we heard about or we heard about Islam, or we look at Islam as we know Islam since we are, you know, kid. I think I know about Islam like um, since I'm a Malaysian. I live in Malaysia, but when I really got to know about Islam is in year 2009. So at that time, I was like, uh, you know, maybe a lot of people talking about, uh, you know, people, what social media said about Islam, mm -hmm. yeah, terrorists and all that. So I was like, okay, maybe Islam is like that. But mm -hmm. the Islam in Malaysia maybe is different. Mm -hmm. The Islam in Malaysia is like peaceful, we preach, you know, um, different thing than the social media uh, portray. So when I really got into know about Islam, uh, because in year 2009, I was uh, literally very sad about, you know, my... Uh, elder brother passing, oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, at the time, uh, there was a servant of Allah. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, "So please don't be sad." He said, "Everything happened for a reason. It's all written by God, and He had a plan for all of us. Mm -hmm. And that's why maybe whatever things happen, that uh, we are sure given the strength to mm -hmm. go through this." So I was like, "Okay, so it's just you say, or you know, really you said God say. So what is the proof?" So he said in so he then he actually introduced like in the Holy Quran say in the Hadith say so I was like okay that's quite uh, comforting yeah and quite exactly. comforting and quite different than what oh. I thought Islam uh, was I started uh, to ask uh, about Islam uh, to the institute here you know there will be a center and uh, a lot of. Uh, I think people know more about Islam mm -hmm. there, so I went there and I asked a lot of questions about Islam. I did my yeah. own research, yeah, and I keep asking a lot of questions. That's what I always say. Maybe I ask about 10,000 questions before I really <laughs> become a Muslim. One day, so this uh, Ustaz actually said, why do you have so many questions from 9 up to 5? You can keep <laughs> a asking questions. So I was like, yeah, because I'm unclear, so I need to ask to get confirmation and uh, to be reassuring myself, yeah. as small as, you know, why Muslim cannot eat pork, why Muslim can't touch the dog, and uh, a lot more. Mm -hmm. So, so the Ustad said, why not you come to one of our course? The course uh, takes you five days. I said, well, that's a lot. I only have three days uh, off. So, oh. he said, but uh, if you come to this course, you can ask as much question as you want, you know. I was like, wow, that's a lot of time to ask questions. I made that decision. I went there and I participate in the course. I actually make a decision to take emergency leave oh. to sure. complete the course. After that, I really think that I am so ready to be a Muslim, but it still take me a while after the course. Maybe take me about a week. After a week, uh, I actually can't wait to be a Muslim and I can't sleep at night. I can't really describe that feeling, the feeling of uh, scared, the feeling of uh, if I don't do it now, then when? Anxious, yeah, yeah uh, a lot of different mixed feelings. So after maybe a week, I made the decision to take my first shahada to Shah. become a Muslim. Subhanallah. So that is a little bit back in year 2009.
before I become a Muslim? There is, because I, like I told you just now, I asked a lot of questions. In the class, uh, the Ustad said, during darurat, that means when you have no choice, you can actually eat pork. I was like, okay, so the statement is a little bit different. So I was like, why? So, uh, because if you don't eat, uh, if that will, you know, harm your life, basically I don't eat because even before I become a Muslim, I think basically me myself I don't do enough. Everyone are not doing enough. If we have the state of thinking that we're doing enough, so we will not do more. I think we all doing not enough. We have to uh, send out the right message. I think we should do more. Yeah, we should do more as a Muslim in Malaysia. Because the majority of the Muslim in Malaysia is Malay, so a lot of uh, time that we will confused about the culture of Malay and Islam. If you are interested or, or if you already uh, you know, just converted, become a Muslim, I think a lot of time you can, you can ask, I think you can ask around to the, to the right people, of course, to the right people. Don't just ask one person or don't, don't just get, get one answer. Be open-minded to receive and uh, to analyse. Don't just like, I trust these people and uh, you know, I'm just going to follow whatever yeah, is said. Yeah. Because as a Muslim, we should always remind ourselves we should follow the uh, Quran and Sunnah, not just the people. Because if you follow the people, we are all human, we make mistakes. Always go back to Quran and Sunnah, that will, that will bring us a long way.